Ta-da, guys, who is hiding behind palm trees and keeping things focused? No, guys, it's not Tom from TTT, Tom's Tech Time, but it's the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, in this case, version 3.0. Uh, guys, today, let me introduce you into the course lock function of this baby, and uh, actually, I want you to fly like a pro after watching this tutorial, so stay tuned. <laughs> Did you ever try to fly a straight line forward with your copter and rotate it meanwhile? Ah, probably that wouldn't be working out because of course you can fly forward, but if you rotate the copter, the front will change and now the front, for example, would be over here. So our straight line would end up right in the palm tree. Very, very bad decision. So how can we set the front to always be the front and the back to always be the back, the right to always be the right and the left to always be the left-hand side even if we rotate the copter all around. It's simple. We activate the course lock mode on our RC and the copter saves the data. So if we rotate the copter to the right-hand side and push the RC forwards, the copter won't crash against the palm tree, but will fly in a straight line forward. And now, guys, you should take a look at some test footage that I shot using the course lock mode. And uh, you can really capture pro-looking results with that. It's a really freaky mode. Stay tuned. Usually it looks like that. The front of the copter is where the red stickers are. That way we know where the back, the right and left are as well. If we now push the right handle at our remote control to the front, the copter flies to the front. But now let's rotate the copter. If we now push the right throttle to the front, the copter flies to its new set front, always depending on where the actual front, the stickers of the copter are. If we now set a course lock, everything seems to stay the same at first. If we push the copter to the front, it goes there. But if we now rotate it again, the front still stays the front, no matter where the stickers of the copter actually are pointing at. Saying if I now push it to the front, the copter will fly to the front that we have set before. Whoa, 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 let's all calm down for a second. I created a graphic for you. At the left corner, you see one of the clips that I shot with Cores Lock activated. Now how did I do that? At the photo at the right hand side, you see the same scenery from above and down there at the corner of it, I added a model of the Phantom. I've set the Cores Lock's front to point right next to the Castillo. The line symbolizes the way the copter will fly if I push the right throttle of the RC to the front. Now take a look at how I created the shot. I flew only a straight line forward. Now with the left throttle I rotated the copter while passing by the Castillo so that the focus of the camera always pointed at the building. And even though the copter was rotating, I only pushed it forward with the right throttle. Before we can get the copter up in the air, we first off gotta activate the course lock uh, mode. And because course lock is part of IOC, the Intelligent Orientation Control, we first off gotta activate the IOC. How to get that done? It's very easy. First off, you uh, gotta get your computer, um, gotta get internet connection, and DJI.com is the source for you. And you download uh, the assistant software and um, run that. Next, uh, you take the USB cable that came with your Phantom, plug the one end into the copter, the other end into the computer. Now power the battery, power the Phantom, and uh, open up the assistant software. And at the upper right hand side, you click at the Phantom. 
And now um, the system actually changes from the Phantom mode into the NASA M mode. And the NASA M mode is kind of the professional mode. And uh, DJI says, oh, do you really want to leave all the safety features behind you? Actually, you're not leaving anything behind you, being honest. So fail safe and stuff like that still works. You say, okay, I want to go for that. And um, next you click on advanced. Next you select IOC. And there's a little checkbox popping up now and you can select that and that enables IOC, the intelligent orientation control. And now we finally can get the cop drop into the air. Oh, computer theory sucks, right? So now how can we set the course lock direction? It's pretty easy. You first off power the RC, next power the Phantom. Wait till it has locked the current GPS position for the case of a failsafe or something like that. And uh, now we gotta make a decision where we want the front to be, where we want to, the back to be. And uh, actually this is pretty simple. You always know the front is where the red stickers are. And um, I could now point the stickers at you. That would mean you would be the front or I could point them over there. That would mean that the front is over there. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna point them at you. So now the front is right at you, back is behind me, right is over there, and left is over there. Now how to set this? It's very easy. You take the S2 switch at the upper left-hand side of your RC and put it into the mid position like this. And now if you see a yellow light blinking with the green lights, that means that the course lock is set. And now it, the copter knows that the front will be over there, back will be behind me, right is over there, left is over there. And even if I rotate the copter in the sky, that won't change. Front there, back there, right there, left there. So now to take off, you simply turn the course lock off and you can simply start the copter. And if you need the course lock, simply activate it again. Okay guys, now the copter is up and running. Currently the course lock is pointing at you, so the front is pointing at you. How can we change the course lock while the copter is in the air? First off, let me fly a little closer towards where you're standing. Maybe like this. The first step is to uh, rotate the copter so that the front points towards where you want the new front to be. Maybe 90 degrees to the right hand side, like this. Now you toggle the S2 switch at the upper left hand side of your RC five times between the mid position and the upper position. So between course lock and off like this. One, two, three, four, five. Until we see the green flashing lights again. And now if we activate course lock again, so the mid position and push the copter to the front, even though if we rotate it, so it points at you. So now I'm pushing it to the front and it will fly out of the picture. So that's how you set a new course lock while the copter is up in the air. They might think I'm Chinese. I'm copying myself. Of course, as a German, I only eat Wiener Schnitzel and uh, drink beer all day long. And kra, kra. Americans only vote for Bush as well, so come on. Who cares? This is the magic piper that Vladimir Vladimirovich is always carrying around. What? Vladimir isn't sure what to say yet. Huh? What are you saying? The Russian man is calling for help. Kakra! Or it might be Vladimir Vladimirovich on his bike riding naked into the sunset. That's a canary bike. 2 PS. That's canary style. Come on, some cheap jokes have to be uh, accepted, right?